Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to show you how to roast your own coffee. I wanted to try this when I was looking into how roasting coffee works, and I learned that it's actually best consumed within about two weeks of when it was roasted. I love coffee, and I think the best cup I ever had was in the Dominican Republic. I was at a resort, and on the first day I sat down for breakfast, they gave me a cup. I wasn't expecting anything different, so when I took a sip, my eyes lit up. I don't know, maybe it was because I was on vacation and everything was just so great anyways, but I could not believe how rich, smooth, and satisfying that cup of coffee tasted. I've been in search of that high ever since. I've bought beans from the Dominican Republic, Kona coffee from Hawaii, Ethiopian coffee, Vietnamese coffee, Italian, and many of them were truly amazing. However, none of them had that combination of smoothness and richness as that cup. So I'm on a mission to find that perfect cup of coffee. One of the things I wanted to see is if really fresh roasted coffee was better than just beans that you buy and grind at home. So what you can actually do is buy unroasted coffee beans or what they call green beans. Depending on where you live, there may be coffee shops in your area that sell them. I bought mine on Amazon and these are Colombian green beans from a single source. The first step is to get a pan on your cooktop. I use the medium setting on mine, which is a 5 out of 9. Your cooktop's medium may be hotter or cooler than mine, but going with medium is a good place to start. When you're roasting coffee, it's a slow process, and the whole thing may take about 20 to 40 minutes. What you're trying to do is slowly roast them, but not burn them. You want the beans to have a dark brown look when they're done. So if you see them smoke, you'll want to drop the temperature down a bit. However, because you're roasting them, the beans will give off a strong aroma, so you will want to turn on your overhead exhaust. So after about 12 minutes, this is what the beans look like. They're starting to take on a bit of color. As you can see, you will need to constantly stir them so that they get roasted evenly. You want to make sure the beans get roasted throughout the bean and not just at the surface. Now we're about halfway through and 18 minutes in. You can see a bit more color developing. You will also start hearing the beans pop like popcorn at this point. So this is 33 minutes in and we're almost done. As you roast, you may need to start increasing or decreasing the temperature as you go along. If you feel you're not getting enough color, just increase the temperature slightly, and if it's starting to smoke too much, drop it down. Just make sure you don't burn the beans. At 37 minutes, we're pretty much done. I'm happy with the color and the aroma. I could have roasted it a bit further, but actually beans that are more roasted and darker, although they have a stronger taste, actually contain less caffeine. And I personally do drink coffee for that bit of that caffeine boost, so I wanted a balance of flavor without reducing the caffeine too much. I also wanted a balanced flavor rather than something that was very bold. After roasting, you should let the beans sit outside for at least 12 hours before storing. Then you should wait at least 1-2 to two days before you use them. That will let the carbon dioxide from the beans dissipate a bit and result in a better brew. So here's my coffee from the roasted beans. I brewed it Americana style in my espresso machine. I found this is actually much better than most beans I've ever bought. The taste was richer, more intense, without being necessarily bold, and still smooth. I'm not sure if it's as good as the cup I had in the Dominican, but I would say this is a very, very good cup of coffee. Some notes. This ended up taking me 37 minutes of roasting. From my research, that is longer than other people have said it takes to roast their coffee. Of course, they could have been using a different method or equipment to roast their coffee. I think I could have roasted them a bit faster, but to be honest, I'm not sure I could have done it without risking uh, burning the beans. I was trying to balance getting color and also not burning the beans throughout the process. I'm definitely not an expert roaster, so there may be a better way of doing this at home. Having said that, the beans turned out really well anyways. As you can see, I didn't roast all the beans I had at once. I just roasted the amount I thought I would use in two weeks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel with notifications on so that you can see our future videos. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.